Well, today we're working on finishing up our ponds. We got them dug to the depth they need to be, and now we're putting berms around the outside. We're getting everything up to height, and we moved a lot of dirt. We've cut out, this will be four ponds total for this site for retention ponds that we're putting in and uh, just going through the process, going through the steps. So the machine's doing all the blade work. It's going up, it's going down. It's not gonna tilt side to side, that's on me. So we got a real tight turn here and now we should be straight. And right now he's just filling me up. It takes about a three, three to five buckets, just depending on how much gets stuck in my box. We gotta clean them out about two times a day. And then I go over and dump to Joey, who's in the uh, D5 with the GPS, and he'll place me wherever he wants. So then once Tony just gives me the beep, just head out. Got to take it easy on us, on these corners. These trucks get really tippy with a full load. Tony fills you about as, as much as he can fit in there. This truck's just an automatic. Most haul trucks are, so it's a pretty easy job with air conditioning and the radio. Can't complain about it, really. Yeah, we're going to end up taking out these uh, stakes, so can you get over a little farther? Okay. Yep. All right. Bye. So we try not to take the stakes out, but in order to build the berm, uh, we have to. The good thing, these stakes that are here right now, um, they're more like a convenience thing, but because we have the GPS set up, we don't really need the stakes because we can see where all the corners of everything are. We can see where the bottom of the pond is. Um, so if we wipe the stakes out, no big deal. We could go out and uh, you know, let's say we want to stake the top side of these berms. You know, we just follow the GPS and we could restake them ourselves. So, not a huge deal. In this case, they're in our way, so they got to go. All right, we'll get into this pile and see what this machine can do. Get it close, we'll turn it on. We'll go slow so it can react. All right, so you can see how, as the machine is moving up and down, the blade is, it's automatically correcting. And right there, out of dirt, that's kind of the end of the, end of the run. Let's get into this pile, It'll be another quick push. That's it. They don't go very far when you're filling this much. So right here is, you can see on the green, or on the screen there, when these arrows go, when they're green like that, that means that's grade. So we have a little bit ways, or we have a little ways to go to get up there. If we go too far down, we get the blue, which means it wants us to come up. So those are your uh, great indicators uh, tell you where you need to be. Then I just pull back up to Tony and it's about the same round every time. The other haul truck has about 45 yards in that one or 40 yards so a bit bigger than mine but we can keep our rounds pretty close together, so we're not, there's not much distance between us when we're not waiting around for the dozer or the GPS. Pretty efficient, it's not too bad.
Oh, I got you on the dozer. Alright. Are you on to another pond yet? Are you on the other pond? Yeah, I am. That other one will just have to wait till it gets a little dry to finish that berm. I'm close, so. It's so dry with the. You're gonna have to stop and clean that filter out on the dozer. Oh, yeah, this thing's gonna need it. I guess you're gonna need it today, for sure, you know, when you're done. Yeah. So, uh, okay, we'll see ya. Okay, bye. Talk to, uh, talking to the boss a lot of times a day, just like that. I'm trying to figure out the next move, uh, updates on plans. The constant communication is key to kind of keeping the ball rolling. We'll just turn the autos on. We'll follow our line. Keep an eye on our dozer there. This thing's gonna start carrying material. Get a little bit closer to that line. And we'll just go nice and slow with it. That other truck driver's not here, so we're not in a super big rush. All right. Yesterday we got to raise one of the ponds up three feet, which which makes a huge difference when you're on a when you're on a pond. That's a lot of material you have to move. A lot of time. So this one's our biggest one. It's nine and a half feet deep, I think. Yeah, that road, I think we have to cut down four feet with the ditches and berms, but that one, four feet, it's not as wide as these ponds, so we should be able to back that out pretty quick and move along, keep the hoe running and both haul trucks moving pretty quick, depending on where we have to pile it. Um, when you come, you have to just dump right in front of my blade, so that way we stay on track. Okay, bye. Okay, got the autos on, we're pushing, it's getting a little heavy, so we're going to turn it off. Let's knock this pile down here. So we'll make our way around this whole entire pond. Uh, once we get that done, we'll get the excavator over here. We're just kinda, at this point, roughing it in. The excavator's gonna get here and we're gonna cut all these all these banks. We're gonna shelf this thing out and get the slopes. Uh, you know, it'll probably be like a three to one or a two to one. Yeah, a little bit of a slow process, but we'll, uh, we'll get there. <laughs> 